Similar to working with text and graphics, you can also create a simple video by selecting the Spark Video option. When you come in, you begin by creating a title. I'm going to call this one Working with Spark and clicking Next. Just like with Post, there are a lot of different templates you can choose from. You can also choose to start from scratch. I'm going to select this one over here on the side. Once the template loads, you'll notice a couple of things. Your main working area is right here in the center. You can click on the microphone and it will record audio using whatever microphone device you have. Down here at the bottom is your timeline. These are your individual slides that are going to show in your video. I'm going to begin by putting in a title, selecting text. Once I have my title in, I can determine how it's going to look. I want this one to be full screen, so I'm going to select the top option. I can change my background theme. I'm going to go with a nice blue. Notice it not only changes the background, but it also changes the font that's being used. On the next slide, I'm going to add a photo. Again, this looks familiar. I'm going to select a free photo, so I'm going to search for computer. This time, I think I'm going to select this item right here. Again, I can go to my layout. I'm going to change this to a split screen format. So my image slides over to the side, and over on the other side, I'm going to add some text. On my third slide, I'm going to add an icon. Icons are vector-based graphics. So when I select and I type in computer, I can select an image that I want to use. When I'm done creating my video, I have a couple of options. I can share, which will allow me to give it a title, a subtitle, identify who the author is, and create a link so it gets noticed on the Adobe page. I also have to select the category that I'm going to use. Since we're working in education, that's what I would generally select. You can also download your video. By selecting download, it automatically generates an MP4 formatted video that can be used on your Spark page or anywhere else that you can upload video. When I open my video, you'll notice that it runs through that timeline of, video of images that I created. I hope this short series of videos has helped you understand how you can encourage your students to use creativity by creating graphics, text layouts, and videos using the Adobe Spark application.